This is Nanny, the stalwart of karaoke night. Every night she gets the spotlight all to herself. And let's be honest, Nanny lives for the applause. But she never gets it. Sorry, this crowd is so... <laughs> dead. 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 Good old Ted, suave, dashing, and completely unreliable. He's ghosted more women than Patrick Swayze. Acquire an extra drink for you. Is that so? Did you happen to notice I literally just got this one? Uh, that won't be a problem, will it? Eileen's never been to this bar before, but apparently, she's come thirsty. She's gonna fit right in. Hey, kids. Aren't you a cute couple? Ah, oh, say, Ted, didn't you say the other night there was a sorority party you were thinking about crashing? You wouldn't be into that, would you? Don't seem like the party type. <laughs> well, you don't know me at all, do you? American beer. Juana was a very famous professional wrestler in Mexico, known as La Mata Viajitas. Besides her undying love for Ted, she also has a passion for Mexican beer. Are you really going to let him go? Just like that? Cut it! Candyman comes from Texas, a true cowboy, stuck in a much simpler time when no one would bat an eye at handing out free candy to children, then offering each of them a ride home in the fun wagon.
Looks like you did well for yourself tonight, <laughs> cowboy. It's just too bad. What's just too bad, Granny? That Mexican Shira that you were playing with tonight mm -hmm. seems to have taken something of yours. And just what might that be, darling? Saw these fall from her pocket. I had no idea you were into such fine things like fancy dresses and lipstick. Excuse me, ma'am. Mayuki moved to America when she was hired as a nanny to three lovely children. But tragically, they died under her care. Apparently, they got strangled in some blinds. Yeah, Teddy. <laughs> now, she has a TV show with her fake persona as a joyful organizing consultant. Joy? N Nappy. Sometimes you need to learn to let things go. <laughs> Am I right, Miyuki? <laughs> you know who else keeps something up their sleeve? That cowboy. It's just too bad. You would have won tonight, too. Cowboy cheat? I can't speak for him, of course. But he's outside right now. Would no one want to hire you as a nanny since the accident? I'm sure you really could have used all that money. Cowboy play was candy. Candy. Money. It's really the principle of the thing, isn't it? Cheetah! Whoa! Well, I, that's embarrassing. <laughs> I do apologize. Um, that's some candy. Good evening, ma'am. And last but not least, there's John Wayne. Even in his 50s, John Wayne still lives at home with his mother. And as you can see, he's a bit of a hoarder. I know you've been eyeing up that microphone for a long time, John Wayne. I think tonight's your night. Come on. Yeah? Come on. <laughs> Let's try one of your favorites. He won't do it.
him, not you. Me? Yes, you. Let's see those hands. You gotta be kidding me. I was just walking by. Turn around and walk backwards towards me. All right, all right, chill out, chill out. Here I come. Little Monsieur Bon I did not expect that. Churn my butter. What's got you so worked up, John Wayne? Teddy. Go ask that Japanese woman. She probably threw it in the trash. What? No! John Wayne? Is that you? Poor John Wayne. <sighs> Thought I was going to have to knock him off myself. I told you this crowd is dead. <laughs> <laughs> You've always been my favorite grandson. Only because I can't sing. <laughs> Fresh crowd.